This video may spoil parts of the movie. Movie starts in 1980. When mercenaries Danny, Bryce and Hunter are in Mexico to assassinate a man. They sit there chatting as they wait for the target. We then see, another two, men named David and Meyer, who are also in the same gang. They then see their target approaching. And according to plan, they blast one of his cars as this man, moves with a lot of security and police officers. They then take positions and open fire at them. They spot the car in which the target sits and start to rain down bullets on the car while the driver tries to drive away. This is when Danny gets close to the car opens. It's gate and shoots the target. As he shoots the man, he sees his daughter sitting beside him and starts to feel guilty. As he does not want to kill anyone before the eyes of their kids. Danny goes stunned, while a police officer shoots him in the arm hunter. Sees that Danny is in trouble, so he attacks the police officer and saves him Davis. Then quickly brings the car, they help Danny get in the car and drive away, but the incident takes a toll on Danny and he decides to leave this business and starts to spend his life away from violence, he returns to his native country Australia, after a while he receives a letter in which he sees Hunter's photo. And it turns out that Hunter has been caught by a man known as the agent and is in Oman. Danny straight away goes to Oman to save his buddy. He meets with the agent who reveals that Hunter was supposed to do a job and was paid six million dollars for it, but he was unable to finish the job. He failed to kill the three. And so he was captured Hunter has now been locked up by Sheikh Kamar one of the most powerful men in Oman. The agent goes on to tell Danny that the Sheikh wants him to finish the job because if he does not they will kill Hunter Sheikh Kamar, a deposed king of a small region of Oman. Wants Danny to kill three, former sash troopers Stephen Harris, Warwick Craig, and Simon McCann because he wants to avenge his sons as these officers killed his three eldest sons. During the Dofar Rebellion, the Sheikh tells Danny that he is living his days. And this is his last wish he tells Danny that he has to make a video of the three of them confessing that they killed the Sheikh's son. And after that, Danny must kill them. He then goes on to add that their assassination should seem like an accident. If he is able to pull it off, he will get six million dollars and the life of his friend will be spared Danny agrees to do the job and goes to see. Hunter Hunter is happy to see him and they decide that they are going to get out of there. They even try, but get caught, which is when they see the Sheikh's fourth son, who tells them that they will never never be able to get out of there Danny then goes to see the agent and confronts him saying that he knew Hunter would not be able to do this job and still he got him trapped into all this but the agent tells him that it is not his fault. Johnny takes a flight to get started on the mission and recalls the time he spent with his girlfriend. And before coming here, when he was peacefully living with her Danny goes to see Davies and Meyer, who agreed to help him for a share of the money. Danny however, tells them that he does not need money and that he is doing this just for Hunter. They decide that their first target is going to be Stephen Harris and they go on to find him. They get to know that the man is still in Oman. So Danny tracks him and one night gets into his house. He knows that he has to make it look like an accident. So he inspects everything in his house and breaks a piece of his bathroom titles and keeps it with him. Danny, then sends Davies to England to find out the whereabouts of the other. Two people in England, TVs travels to a pub known to be frequented by British military personnel. And questions bar patrons about former SAS members in Oman. This is reported to the Feather Men, a secret society of former operatives, protecting their own, the agency's head named Spike. Logan is informed that there are people looking for his officers. He gets a photo of Davies and goes to see his seniors. He tells them that some people are following the SAS officers, and he suspects, they want to kill them, the seniors, tell him that he is allowed to tackle the situation, the way he likes, and Spikes gets to work, but Davies after conducting an investigation, gets back to him on and they start to plan the killing of Hare. Iris. Danny has made a hammer out of that little piece of tile and plans to kill him with it making it look like Harris slipped in the bathroom and hit his head as they discussed the plan. A man takes their photos. That man has come from England. Following Davies, Danny spots him and attacks him. He however jumps into a tunnel and manages to get away. They gained access to Harris' house pretending to be researchers, making a documentary as they get inside. They put a gun to his head and make him confess that he killed Sheikh's three sons after Harris confess. Videotape, they take him to the bathroom intending, to make it look like he slipped and hit his head. However, Harris' girlfriend knocks on the door while Danny and Meyer order. Acted Harris attempts to break free causing Meyer to shoot him. Sheikh gets to know that one of the men has been killed and his son goes to give the good news to Hunter telling him that his friends have killed one of the targets while Danny is on his way to kill the second target. 
Spike, on the other hand, gets to know that Harris is dead. He is now sure that the people are behind SAS officers. He again goes to see his seniors and says that he is sure that the man he spotted is the killer of Harris. She tells them that they are going to have to be careful from now on DVD. Tells Danny that they have gotten the location of the second target named Warwick. It is revealed that he is in a hospital in Australia. As Danny stands in front of the hospital trying to come up with a plan Spike is sitting in his car, monitoring the situation Spikes. He's Danny and understands that he is a target killer. He starts to follow Danny and Danny also realizes that he is being followed. He makes Spike follow his car in the city, manages to get rid of him and gets back to the hospital Spike. Also gets to the hospital and they start to fight the fight goes on for a long time and Danny ends up getting the upper hand as he does. He sounds the emergency alarms in the hospital and gets out of there. He goes to his boys and tells them that they are being followed by a SAS officer. They however, say that they are still going to follow. The plan, Warwick is going to be at a military camp that night disguised as a soldier. Danny gets inside the camp and drugs Craig's coffee follows him on the march and makes him confess before the drug sends him into shock to die of hypothermia aware that the men are now following them. Danny decides to use a different tactic to kill their last target. Simon McCann, who is working as a mercenary. Their plan is to set up a fake job, interview to lure McCann out of his house. And then to crash, a remote-controlled truck into McCann's car with the help of the inexperienced, Jake Meyer, kills McCann. However Logan and his men were watching over McCann, a gunfight ensues. And while trying to kill Jake, he accidentally kills Meyer. Danny tells Davies to go underground and they part ways. Davies stays at a hotel. Tell and calls a girl. He is then tracked down by Spike's men and is fatally hit by a truck while trying to escape Danny returns to Oman and gives the Sheikh the last confession which he has faked Hunter is released. While Danny heads back to Australia and reunites with Ansoon, he is informed by the agent that there is one last man who participated in the Sheikh's son's murders. And that this man Renulf finds is about to release a book about his experiences in the sass Danny sends into France, so Hunter can protect her. He on the other hand and goes to see Sheikh's son and tells him that they should not underestimate him because he is very much capable of killing them all the Sheikh's son confirms that Harris was innocent Hunter then meets Danny and tells him that he will help him finish the job Danny. However, refuses to take his help and tells him to go back to his family Hunter, then goes to Paris to protect and spike. Meanwhile traces Danny through the agent and sends a team to protect the author that Jake distracts them allowing Danny to shoot fines. He only wounds the man while taking pictures that here to show him dead. Logan captures. Danny takes him to an abandoned warehouse but then a government agent arrives and reveals that the British government is behind the events because of the Sheikh's valuable oil reserves. A three-way battle ensues with Danny escaping and Logan, shooting the government agent. The agent, on the other hand keeps an eye on and thinking that Danny has been killed planning to eliminate her, as well. But Hunter saves her by killing them. All Danny and Hunter head to Oman to give the Sheikh the pictures. However, Spike arrives first. It tells the Sheikh, the pictures are fake and then stabs him to death. The Sheikh's son, does not care. He gives Spike the money Hunter spots Spike leaving and they chase after him along with the Sheikh's men after stopping the Sheikh's men. Danny and Hunter confront Spike on a desert road Hunter, takes some of the money for his expenses in his family. They leave the remainder, telling. Spike that he will need it to start a new life after killing the government agent and acting against the wishes of the feather men, and the British government. Danny says that it is over for him and that Spike must make up his own mind about what to do. He then goes back to his beloved. Well, I hope you liked it and if you do, please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, till another video, take care.